Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel with another bonus episode of Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Now today, we're going to finally take a look at these Eldar. So let's see, they're very fast and maneuverable. Best fighters and bombers, less likely to run away. They're fragile though, with most weapons on the front. And very vulnerable to assault action, so they suck at assaults. So let's have a look-see. Oh wait, hold on. I wanted to do random, because I haven't set anything up. <laughs> there we go. Play with random without skills. All right. And we'll fight the Imperials. Why? Because. So let's see what we got here. We got the Void Stalker. Which is their battleship. They only get one of one of everything except they get a, two different types of light cruisers. So let's see what we got. We get Heavy Prow Pulsar, which does um, a lot of damage actually. Range is 9,000, so we should keep these guys at about 9,000. Same with their Star Cannons. They all pretty much have the same weapons. Yeah, they all have the same type of guns. <laughs> okay, so one of you, one of you, one of you. Um, one of you. Oh, that's interesting. Their uh, escort ships are actually really expensive compared to uh, all the other fleets combined, almost. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have at least 42 points. That's fine. We'll go with these big guys. We'll get to play around with the little guys when we do the uh, the skirmish campaign BS. Oh, wow, they look so cool. So everything's on the front arc. They don't shoot behind or on the sides. They just look so freaking cool. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. We're gonna deploy here. Oh, they all look like elves from Lord of the Rings. Except for you, you look like an angry elf. What's this? Activate pulsars. Activate ships pulsars emitting beams that inflict damage every second to any enemy that ship that hit them. That hit them for a short time. Yeah. Cool. Oh, interesting. It's almost like short range torpedo type deals. And that's actual torpedoes. So. Battleships have four wings. Uh, the battle cruisers and the cruisers have three. And the light cruisers have just two. Up and down. <laughs> the Eldar stand ready. Ooh. Actually, fairly quick. Oh, they can't move right or left. They just do it on their own, I guess. Oh! That turbo, though. Okay. We got Eldar bombers and fighters. At your service. So you get a close up. Ah, oh, damn, they look so cool. They do look pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have ever played uh, that one Star Wars game. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not sure if you guys have ever played the Star Wars game. Uh... Ah, now I don't even remember the name of it. Crap. The Galaxy at War? Where it's kind of like similar space battles, except they have a button right here you can press, and you can kind of just take a back seat, and it'll show you like a, a theatrical camera movement of all, of the battle. So you can just kind of sit there and watch. Your death was foretold. Whoa. 
Everyone needs to keep moving. Oh my god. They weren't joking. No wonder our Eldar allies had like a hard time. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna lose you guys like ever so quick. Oh my gosh! Why are you supposed to win with these guys? joking about the fact that they they can't stand up to a fight at all good at hit and run from the looks of it. I like their maneuverability, but they can't take hit worth shit. have quite the learning curve. Ugh, well, at least we took another one out with us. Yeah, these guys suck at attrition. Holy crikey. What the hell, man? <laughs> One of those cases where you have to actually learn how to use them. <laughs> so let's add a ship. Aurora, what do they got? Prow pulsars, prow torpedoes, and the Solaris, which has star cannon and launch bays. Let's see. We'll do the we'll do the other one. We did the Solaris last time. So Okay. Skills. Hollow field overcharge. Hollow field. Oh, they don't really have shields. They have hollow fields, which makes it like less likely to, that they'll actually get hit. Okay. Wraithborn reinforcements. Dark Star Squadron. A fighter squadron is deployed to defend around a ship. Fighter squadron will act as a normal squadron. Cool. Vols maneuver. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, we'll give this a shot. Maybe that's why their uh, escort ships are really expensive. Maybe they're maybe they're one of the types that just it's just good to have like a shit ton of escort ships. 
let's see what we got. We got Hellebore, Nightshade, Aconite, and Hemlock Destroyer. Okay. You got 15 guns on you. You guys all just can't take a hit. Okay. Give these guys a try. Yeah, you got like 16 guns on your face, so that's what I'm taking you. Okay, maybe we'll win this time. <laughs> Damn, these guys are like rough. At your service. Stealth is the key to success. So we're all stealthing. The void is our home now. Yes, Commander, we obey. short range of those Polestar guns. Yes, Commander. We ride the solar winds. Oh. Oh. Something just blew up over there. <laughs> Got one. Swiftly. Moving to that location. Eh, that's not too bad. They're really good at like the small engagements from the looks of it. Setting sail. Whew, yeah. So yeah, it's just all hit and run with these guys. The Eldar shall triumph. I, oh, you know what? I know what happened with that other frigate. It ran into a mine field of some kind. Swiftly. That up. You really gotta be good at the timing with those lances. Those polar the pulsar those yeah, those pulsars. Yes, Commander, we obey. Bone singers, heal this vessel. There we go. Moving to that location. There we go. Supporting captain. <laughs> Run, bitch. <laughs> we lucked out there because one of his guys ran into a mine and blew himself up. And then, yeah, it's just, these guys are like constant clicky types. You just have to constantly have them move around. They can't stand still. Otherwise, they're screwed. I think their hollow fields go down if they don't move. Or at least that's what it looked like to me. <laughs> okay, so you... Let's see, we've got a Harlequin. 
Reduce ten percent per level the chance of insubordination. Okay. The Void Dreamer. Retreat chance. Bone Singer. Emergency repairs. Master Gunner. Blade Sworn. Clue. Okay, it's true value. Spirit Stone. What do you do? Reduce the cooldown time of all skills by four percent. Then Squadron Sergeant. These guys does not have a squadron, so we're gonna. Be better at guns and upgrades. Well, all this stuff looks different, especially the engine shit. Void Predator. When the ship is in a gas cloud or an asteroid field, enemy macro weapons suffer a 20 point penalty in accuracy. Oh, cool. Dragon Sail. Ship's maximum speed is now improved by 50 points when it uses a maneuver or a move order. Bonus is lost in case of an attack order. Phoenix Sail. If the ship suffers a critical damage on the engine, its speed penalty is divided by up to two times if all sails were destroyed. Polarized field. The damage done by asteroids are negated. Ship's hollow fields cannot be reduced under a 20% efficiency. Deflecting the hollow uh, reduces the critical damage penalty caused by the fragile attribute setting. If it, at 50% instead of 100%. Ooh, we might want that. <laughs> Wraith Guards, a ship gains plus 10 troop value against assault actions. We need to survive. So we might want to go with this guy. Yeah. Let's do another battle with them. Let's see if we can get ourselves a cruiser. Okay. So, one of you guys have, like, yeah, the 15? Those guys are good. And then you. Yeah, shoot. I'm wondering if I can just. Well, no, you have to have a ship of the line to be the. Uh, the admiral ship or whatever the command ship but man just a bunch of these little guys with the like 15 guns on them i could just run circles around them that'd be freaking awesome six okay good at your service see as i move that stuff goes up but if i stop, Full stop. it goes down oh okay so, yeah, they have to constantly be moving in order to have shields. That's interesting. As you wish. That explains why they don't go straight at them, they go around them. We ride the solar winds. The Eldar stand ready. What's this? Wraithbone shift. Move full speed. Wow, that's freaking awesome, actually. The, their turbo boosts are pretty cool. Okay, so this is all of them. I wonder what we're fighting. Until the end. They're all slow, so I'm assuming orcs. Yeah. Nope, not hitting them at all. Yeah, I'm assuming orcs. We have found the end. Yep, they're orcs. Oh man, what are you doing? Swiftly. You have to fire around them, not at them. No, you can't transport it. Oh no, he still has a thing. Yep, 
that guy constantly be moving. How do you guys fight like this? I don't get it. Another one. Uh, uh no. As you wish. <laughs> He's smashing this own guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, we lost hardcore there. Wow, these guys are a bit tough. Maybe we should do what I like would do in the earlier uh parts of the campaign where I split them up and I have them just dance around them. I think it's the only way to win, really. You know? So I want to get at least a cruiser before we end this. These guys are hard to figure out compared to everybody else. At least the repair cost ain't too bad. changing the colors but they look like they keep changing colors <laughs> maybe it's the way the lights hitting them boom boom I'm gonna split you guys up into two two one go until the end. At your service. We use one of you guys as bait and the other one as the actual attack craft. Yes, Commander. Setting sail. Until the end. At your service. As you wish. Ah, uh, they get two more coming in from that way too. The Eldar stand ready. Divide and conquer. We ride the solar winds. Ooh, we hit him now. It's Imperials. Swiftly. Lock weapons on target. That's a service. The void is our home now. Until the end. We 
ride the solar winds. We have found the enemy. As you wish. Um. Acknowledged. Yes, Commander, we obey. Yes, Commander. Ah, uh, he ran right into him. Ugh. We ride the solar winds. Move at full speed. Moving to that location. At your service. Run into that? Ah, oh, man. That was terrible. Oh. Yeah, I can't ram into anybody with these ships. Oh, I'm doomed yes, again. Ah. Okay. I love their maneuverability, but the fact that you have to constantly moving makes these guys really annoying to play as. <laughs> oh, you win. You win. So far, I really like the orcs. The chaos are okay, but the imperial uh, the imperial fleet's the, still the coolest, bar none. Bar none. Like no joke. <laughs> Let's see what we got for ship touch. Just the shadow. That's all we got. Yeah, these guys are tough to play. No wonder our ally was getting his ass handed to him every time. Wow. Okay. Maybe we'll have better luck with this guy. We'll do one more mission. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we get one more, eh? Hmm. Yeah, that one. Okay. We'll try one battle with this cruiser. Just to see if we can have any change of luck. Maybe it's a cruiser thing. That's what we're going to do. So you have to keep moving in order to keep these guys alive. I mean, I understand, like, 
it, that's extremely lore friendly. Don't get me wrong. I'm not upset about that. I'm just upset at the fact that like they just ah oh man defend the platform. Oh man, I was not paying attention to what this mission was gonna be. We only get two platforms. Oh shit. Oh man. Swiftly. Son of a bitch. Move at full speed. We ride the solar winds. I don't have to worry about you guys. The Eldar stand ready. Bone singers, heal this vessel. Till the end. Oh, it looks like orcs actually. Moving to that location. We have found the enemy. Let's turn around. Let's see if we can yes, finish these on. guys up. We obey. is pretty dumb. The void is our home now. We ride the solar winds. Moving to that location. Swiftly. He's just gonna try to plow through all of them from the looks of it. Basically dog fighting with these guys, more or less. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. He's gonna get away. Got him. <laughs> Almost got him. At least we ended with a victory. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the trick to it is uh, you have to play it as if you're a World War One fighter ace. And all you have to do is just keep moving so you're always behind them. That's all you can do. Just stay on their six. That's all you can do. Yeah, you level up, though. 
damn. <laughs> Those guys are tough to play as. It's fun, though, but damn if they're not tough. Which one makes it so I don't get hurt as often? You. Yes. Crew. Uh, gunner. Because guns are important, even if you're the mighty Eldar. Guns are important. Let's take a look at these guys. Got that big cannon on the front. Is that the Pulsar cannon? Or was that something else? Yeah, prop Pulsar. Nightshade. And these guys are cool because they got like a shit ton of guns on the front. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Alright, everybody. Thank you for watching me play as the Eldar. On Battlefleet Gothic Armada. This should be the last of the uh, of the bonus episodes, but I know that they're supposed to come out with a Space Marine faction fairly soon. When they come out, I'll do an episode of that as well. And there's supposed to be one final faction that they'll come out with later, though there's no hints on what it is. I think I've mentioned that once or twice during the campaign, but uh, whenever they came up, come out, I'll probably do the same thing. I'll do like a quick skirmish battle, and then I'll try this little mini campaign to see what happens so thanks again for sticking around and watching be sure to like comment subscribe and share and don't forget to follow fawin channel on instagram twitter and facebook take care everybody i will see you all next time on our next adventure